Kia ora guys, good morning from New Zealand. Once again we've got an absolutely breathtaking morning. Absolutely love it. On my way into work this morning, the mist was up, the sun was coming up, I had to work really fast. So I came down to the Tuki Tuki Valley again. Had to get the photographs first, worry about waffling to the camera for now. And first off, driving down the Mangateri Teri Road, you could see the peak in the background, mist in the foreground. So I, uh, I pulled up as quick as I could, flew the drone above the mist, got a couple of nice shots, that was okay. <laughs> Raced further down the road, not raced, obviously went at the speed limit. Got down to my next location, which was the, where did I go next? I went to Jesus. Kaharaniki Road. Pulled up there, a lot of mist in the river basin, in the river valley. Flew the drone up through, got a few nice shots there. I kind of really, I really did like them. down the Tuki Tuki Road which runs alongside the Tuki Tuki River obviously and it's just stunning from this side you get beautiful views of the Matter Peak Range in the background it's absolutely glorious now there's a stand of trees out there I don't know what they are I'm gonna say poplars but I wouldn't have a clue if it fell on my head and said hey I'm a poplar I wouldn't I wouldn't know I wouldn't know any different anyway so a stand of trees out there a bit of autumn colour on them with the framed beautifully by the rangers and the mist. So what I did initially, I pulled up in this little lay-by here, jumped out of the car, got a shot. Now my first shot was crap. Only in that, it was a scrambled shot and I just wanted to get a shot quickly before conditions changed. 
I'm just going to wait till this car goes by, guys. Well, the first shot, I'll post it now. Uh, I jumped out of the car, got the shot, and it's just, it's totally not, totally not balanced. I focused on the, on the stand of trees, and it's, the stand of trees, are, well, the ranges are cut off by the stand of trees. It's just unbalanced, it's crap. So, reviewing it on the back of the camera, I knew what I'd done straight away. So, I kind of walked, maybe, maybe 50 metres down the, down the, uh, down the road here, against the, against the fence line, balanced it beautifully from from the hill on the left hand side you've got then the stand of trees in the centre and the ranges, the Tomato Peak range on the right hand side and it just frames it beautifully with the mist flowing through, glorious now in the foreground I've got a little bit of I've got a shadow of the fence line and a little bit of darker stuff and green leading out to the, the main trees and I, I sometimes like that, it sort of frames the shot a little bit but I think I left it too late, the sun's too high up so the shadows aren't long enough so I think I've sort of missed that one, so I may, I may end up cropping the, the shadow off, I don't know. I tried getting a little bit closer to the shadow. Uh, it may have worked, I don't know. But at the minute, it's just... Oh, one of those... One of those stunning Hawke's Bay mornings. We get a lot like this. But every day, every time we get one, it's just like, wow, look at this. Stand back and just admire. Absolutely stunning. It's going to be a crap day for the rest of the day photography wise because there's not a cloud in the sky the clouds the early morning clouds that were they've they've sort of gone now but it's just beautiful all right guys listen there from new zealand on yet another stunner an absolute stunner hope you're all doing fantastically well wherever you are and getting through this situation that we're in the best way that you can and uh, all the best to you and yours cheers guys keep the camera off